Hey everybody, it's Brady and this is Chewing the Fat with Brady video edition. Today we're doing a little grilling 101 and we're doing it with the Jealous Devil charcoal. I brought Josh Day out here, the guru behind this charcoal. This is kind of a, a new one for me. I've done traditional charcoal, but this stuff right here is pretty amazing. And uh, we're doing it on a couple of things. Thanks to Barbecue Islands for supplying the grills. We're doing it on PK cast aluminum grills. Josh, welcome. Give me the rundown on the charcoal here. Uh, the charcoal, it's an all natural lump hardwood. Uh, it has a high carbonization, so you don't get any popping. Um, you don't get any off flavors and it burns really even, really hot, and you don't get a lot of crumbles at the bottom. So when you're grilling with the charcoal, the reason why you like doing it a little bit for the flavor profile, and um, since you get the heat, you can spread it out and do different levels, like from anything from a, a thicker cut steak, you might want to do a, a lower heat because it's got to cook through. Absolutely. Uh, with it, I mean, it allows you to, you know, efficiently run an indirect side and a direct side of the grill. Um, so you can mitigate the heat and adjust your cooking as needed to where the hot spots and cool spots are of the grill. So we're creating the hot spots. Okay, well that covers enough of the science behind charcoal. We're all hungry here. I got my buddy Rod from Midwestern Meats. He supplied the meats. And on today's menu, we're going to be doing some uh, chicken wings with my new prickly pear ghost sauce. We're going to do some truffle habanero hamburgers. And I got the uh, Midwestern Meats custom cut ground up brisket burgers and then lastly we're gonna do a spicy Asian flank steak and then I've got some potato salad it's a blue cheese potato salad we're gonna sprinkle some sriracha on that and then we're gonna do uh, one last thing on the grill we're gonna do some Brussels sprouts with a little bacon and uh, I think we're gonna step that up a little bit put some heat on that absolutely so let's get to the cooking These are the old Weber chimneys right here. This is how you start the charcoal. You stack them in there. And then afterwards, if you seal the holes, they make a great beer mug. It's amazing. Midwestern meat's finest right there. Look at that flank steak. Get in my mouth. Got some brisket burgers right there, and I've uh, got the wings in the bag. Not for long, though. Whoa! Wing down! All right, so we got the chimneys going right now. The charcoals, we're starting a little fire over there on the Weber uh, mugs. We call them the stacks. Stacks. And then this is the PK grill. And I'm going to let Josh tell us a little about the PK grill because um, when I first saw it, it just brought back memories of uh, when I was a kid and dad would fire up the old, either the circular Weber. And then the, we did have a rectangle grill, but I'm sure it was not the cast aluminum. It might have been um, uh, a steel. It could have uh, been. But it lasted a long time but the sounds are exactly the same when you open the lid and close it anyway give the rundown of the pk grill here absolutely i mean it very could well have been of uh, a pk they've been around since 19, 52 yeah 1952 so, you're not that old right no <laughs> uh the pk grills i mean they're uh honestly just a great cooking machine they're a cast aluminum so they radiate the heat uh hold the heat really well and uh you know, honestly, they're steak cooking machines. They get the radiant heat and they bounce the heat so you get even cook on the meat. So as soon as you flip them, they're easy. Are you seeing uh, more of a resurgence on the uh, charcoal cooking? Um, it's definitely, there's been a lot more of a peaked interest uh, in it. I mean, people are starting to see more. I mean, you have people like Aaron Franklin on TV talking about it, on the news stations they're talking about it. So it's becoming, it's coming back. Now, when you're um, doing the competitions, like you have one this weekend, right? You're heading yes. to New Mexico. Is Absolutely. that where you're going? Do they do, are they bringing in, incorporating anything on charcoal cooking or a, maybe like a, a, a throw down in between? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of competitions. I mean, the good thing with the barbecue contest is it's kind of any fuel other than gas uh, that we cook in. But the steak contest is where these things really shine. You go to a steak contest, you know, if there's 50 teams, you're probably going to see 40 to 45 of these. The first time um, I, I helped cook on them was with Jess Pryles. 
and um, she did, uh, you know, she has charcoal in her rubs, which was interesting, but she has got the meat down to a science. Absolutely. And she does that, I forget what that, uh, the big gathering in Texas, it's a, a barbecue, the Houston like Rodeo, a, a week educational deal, class yeah. after class, and I have a buddy that goes every year, and he's like, you got to get down to this thing, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's put on by one of the colleges in their meat science department. They bring in a lot of people. She's definitely one of the, you know, highly sought after instructors for the meat science part. Well, I'm excited to get this, uh, to do the wings and the burgers and the flank steak, and then we'll uh, top it off. So well, let's get the fire going. Let's get it done. And we'll get after it. We're waiting on the flank. Flank's gotta go on a little bit longer because it's thicker, but it, it's worth the wait. Patience, Daniel son. And then we have one burger left. Should I give it to my dogs, Coco and Kiva? <laughs> what do you think? Would you like that, Coco? Uh, huh? Would you like a burger? Kiva would. Booyah! <laughs> Little truffle habanero. Burger. All right, this is the red, white, and blue potato salad. Red potatoes, russet potatoes with a little blue cheese. Now I'm going to drizzle, drizzle it with Brady's red sriracha. Very patriotic. There you have it. Sriracha style potato salad. A must have for your grill, the duck fat. Oh, I'd be queasy. Thank you. Oh, we can. I'm a. If you need them. Oh. Nah, I'm a hand guy. Okay, do it. Do it. Let me talk to you. Yeah, you want to film? Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm already filming. That's interesting. All right, so what's the game plan? Uh, right here, we got the flank steak. We just pulled it off the grill and uh, we let it rest for about 10 minutes and we're going to cut it against the grain. And we're going to use the spicy Asian on it. Flanks wide. Hand cut A9, Kobe flank. C. 
some stuff you don't want some meat you don't want the good cuts because it, it just doesn't do it it's a, yeah. essentially kind of a waste not a waste but you know rod knows what i mean you're paying for something that you know is already there Oh, that's a beauty. There we go, drizzle her up. Here we go. Oh, here's... Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> now, now we're gonna have to pate. That's how you pate? Yeah. Well, I call it patting. I call it, it's just slapping your meat, you know, this is what I do. It's mostly a night nighttime activity, but... Uh, it sounds French, so it's fancy it to go with food. All right, we ready? Is this where the line starts? Yeah. Outstanding. Quick prepare ghost. Gold. I ain't trying to die. This is my uh, Hot Ones episode of Hot Ones. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Maybe I should ask my wife. So that's her if it's all right. <laughs> you guys signed your waivers, right? Now that prickly pearl will come in at the. It'll keep coming at you, like ghost. Very sweet at first. What do you got? You got any heat yet? Oh, uh, yeah. Just the heat Just the the wing. <laughs> Wings are hot temperature. It's coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's coming. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're sweating. Woo! Top of the head. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'd give it about an eight. On a seven scale, yeah. <laughs> Say so. <laughs> People eat this stuff for fun. It's a, it's good, but if you're yeah. looking for some heat, if you want this eat. will bring it, my friends. <laughs> one wing. If you want to eat one I'm wing? I can eat this I am all proud day. of you. You know what? I'm I'm proud. I mean, I guess that you know this is why I don't have hair on my chest. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here, chewing the fat with Brady. What an evening we had here with my man Josh Day, and he brought over, we did some charcoal grilling, the chicken wings, we, we ended it with that one because that was the hot, and the prickly pear ghost, Rob, what do you think? Woo, it's hot, <laughs> you gotta give it a try, everybody. Josh. Yeah, they're great, it's a great sauce, it, uh, it packs a punch, definitely. I'm proud of these guys, because uh, Rod did one wing, and um, uh, it does, the prickly pear ghost is the hottest in my line, um, the potato salad with the sriracha was really good. Everything was excellent. The Brussels sprouts we did with a little bacon, a little duck fat, avocado oil, and all on the PK grills. It's so easy to do. You guys should check them out at Barbecue Islands. And uh, join me for the next Chewing the Fat with Brady. We'll see you next time. Just took me to Yum City. <laughs> Sorry, like that, that was for Homeburg. Because he loved to watch people eat. Mm, mm, so good. <laughs>